Tales from the Crypt, 1989, Yellow. Firing Squad, present arms. Hello, creeps. I was about to fire off to tonight's dead time story. But a young soldier doesn't want to be in the army anymore. I can't imagine why not. I mean, war is a great equal opportunity destroyer. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Ready, maim, and here's my favourite part, fire. I couldn't do a knight's tail. Yellow. G flank, hold your ground, soldier. You seen the lieutenant, damn, soldier. Where's the lieutenant, damn? You seen the lieutenant, back over there, damn, goddamn. Drink, sergeant. Lieutenant, orders to take this that hill. The, the charge is stalled. What are you gonna, doing here, sir? What's that, Sergeant Ripper? You have have to speak up. The Germans are shooting the crap out of us. Or haven't you noticed? We should climb the hill. We want to stop. Want us to stop? No, I do not want the men to, to just stop. Hans have zeroed in. Have zeroed in. They're cutting us to ribbons. I want you to order the men to retreat. I can't do that, sir. General ordered us to take that hill. I'm telling you. I'm telling you to retreat, not now. Now do it. Our orders are to take that goddamn hill. Damn the orders. And damn the general. We're the ones being shot at. Shot and killed out there. Come on, Sergeant. Fire the flares. Fire. Thank you, Sergeant. Take care of the wounded. Looks back like... Von Festen is putting all these sources in his left flank, General. Spotters are reporting patrols missing, massing here and there, here and here. Of course, he may be stealing a page from your book and so I'm feigning an attack. No, that's not Van Festen's style. He's showing an attack there, and that's what he tends to go. Son of a bitch always does it. Ins and Duro. Don't know. I don't know if we we're all going to be able to hold out, sir. Why do the hundred and trolley positions is running right in our trenches? Any word for the line yet? No, sir. They should be reaching the top of the round hill right above now. You think von Hose first Vern will buy what you're selling him? I hope so, Captain. You see, Germans think we're going on offensive may hesitate just long enough for us to regroup. Bring a place, sir. If we can stay on that hill, Sergeant. What's the meaning of this? Begging the pot, Captain's pardon, sir. For the general should hear my report straight away. At ease, Sergeant. So, Rep, thank you, sir. Well, how did it go? I'm afraid the counterattack up the hill failed, sir. We never, we never got there. Never got there? No, sir. We were forced to retreat. Retreat? Who ordered retreat? Well, Sergeant Lieutenant Gulfrob, sir. Lieutenant Gulfrob? We're saying my son ordered retreat? Yes, sir. Men, sir. What's left of them? I oh, exhausted. General, in this case, we may have to concede this battle. Concede? I've never given up on my entire life. Now, how would that look in the high command if I didn't take the hill? Maybe we can try it out one other, one more uh, time. Let's move B Company up there, here. Get B Company on the line. The line's dead, General. Probably the Germans, sir. They've been sending out patrols. Probably cut the line. Captain, have the lieutenant take the charge of a couple of wiremen. Find the break and fix it. General respect, I don't think it's a good idea to send your son on that mission. And why is that? His section for the lieutenant, isn't he? I don't know is that, sir, but... So I didn't tell him. Yes, sir. Lieutenant, as you know him, you know my superior officer, sir. Cut the point, Sergeant. Begging the general's upon him, sir. I don't know where to put this. Just spit it out, man. He's yellow, sir. Get him. Get him in here. You wanted me to see me? Have you gotten out of port? I see. Lieutenant Martin Kobob reporting as ordered, sir, Corporal. At ease. Is it true? 
What the men are saying about you? It depends, sir. What they're saying, the men saying, they're saying turn you are yellow. You're a coward. The men say what they like, sir. Don't give a damn. I give a damn. That's your prerogative, sir. Is it true what you ordered, that you ordered, Sergeant? You ever to signal retreat this afternoon? Yes, sir. I say to company, if you continued up that hill, none of us would have been alive now. In no way we could have reached the objective. The lieutenant. purpose of the attack was to keep, pin the Germans down while the rest of the division fell back. Well, we fell back anyway. What's the difference? What's the difference? The difference is no men died with bullets in their backs. I don't know. I didn't, but I don't know. I do, but I didn't. I do know. I can't kill anyone. I certainly don't want to be killed. But you've got a job to do, Father. I don't want to be in, in the army anymore. I want to discharge. Don't can't do that. You can't do anything for me, can you? You never could. Do you understand? What you're asking you would be seriously undermine my command. What's that got to do with me? I'll tell you what that's got to do with you. First, you're going to assemble a patrol lead to German lines. But I just don't interrupt. I want you to locate it and repair it. What? Sir, with all due respect, I'll put together a patrol for you, but I'm not going out there. I don't I don't have to. I'm an officer. God damn it, it's because we're an officer, you must go. I can't, I won't. Martin, listen to me. I can give you a discharge, but if you do this to me, if you lead a patrol, I'll transfer you to the rear to get you off the front lines. You're going to transfer me? If you do this thing, one thing for me. Any sign of Corporal Medic? Corporal, did you find the breaking line? Yes, sir. A hundred yards out. But where, where, but where, the, where, just where the fence is, dog legs to the left. See any Germans? Go over the goddamn place, Lieutenant. What's, you want my opinion? Hands are up to something. Wouldn't be a bit surprised if the son of bitches would come at us tonight. Good work, Corporal. Good luck, sir. Okay, men, let's get move out. We're all right. Can you see the break? Over there. Where the, why are the sergeants crucified in the wire? Yeah. Christ, the Germans. They move the lines forward. What? How, what? how do you know? I can smell them. So I don't see the point of what's going on now. I mean, the break is obviously too close to the German line. I think we should go back. It's only about 50 yards ahead, sir. Too close to German lines. God damn it. We're going back. We've got to do this. We've got to do this. We need you. Listen, we don't. why don't you stay at guard the rear, sir? Let him in and me go fix the cable. Somebody's got to cover us. All right? If you see the, any hands, blow this. Yeah, but this thing isn't going get, to give away any position. But this thing's going to give away my position. Aye. Okay. How long is this going to take? Not more than a few minutes. So once we find the break, right, make it quick. Blow the whistle. I hear it, Corporal. How is the repair patrol going? Coming? I don't know, sir. Can't see a thing. Hurry up, God damn it. Hurry up. Yeah, oh my God, Lieutenant. What's going on? Come and get it. No, we're supposed to warn. You're supposed to warn us. Why didn't you blow the whistle? Are you supposed to warn us? Why didn't you, wa- didn't you warn us? You can't see a bloody thing out there. Sound like a couple of German grenades going off with gunshot. A shotgun blast. Mares, Jesus, don't shoot, it's a tenant. <coughs> Lieutenant, what's happened? Germans everywhere. They ambushed us. We have any others, they're all dead. Couple get a stretcher and patrol together. Perhaps. They're all only wounded, yes, sir. No, they're dead. God's Christ's sake. I saw them die. The goddamn Germans. German patrol, it was ambush. Ambush us? Yes, sir. So I say to men, sir. I shot as many of the goddamn Germans as I could. I just kept firing and firing. I barely made it back alive. You did all you could, Lieutenant. That's all I can ask. How do you know? Now do you know why I had to send you out there again? Could let you. Don't those men think you were a coward? How could I ask them? For them, what I couldn't ask for my own son. Now you've shown them what you're made of. 
you shown me. Thank you, sir. You want to transfer me out of the here? Do I want to? Well, of course I will. I always keep my word to my men. And now I know no one ever called me a coward again. I'm proud of you, son. Easy, son, easy. What the hell is going on here, you yellow bastard? Get the medics. Don't wait, sir. No, you got him, coward ripper. He saw the Germans patrol come around behind us. He could have warned us, but he didn't. He's yellow mine. Is that true? No, sir. Look, the sergeant's obviously delirious. He's a coward. Okay, he gave the Germans his own men. Well, is it goddamn lies, nice, sir? I told you, he shot the Germans. You're a liar. You left me here to die. You're yellow. Medics, see the ca- sergeant's remains. See, sir, I'm telling you the truth. I killed those Germans. Besides, it's his word against mine, right? So it does have a point here, sir. Is that weapon you use to shoot the Germans? Yes, sir. His weapon never been fired. Arrest this man. Father, please come with me, Lieutenant. I'm your son. Escort him to the proper first. I can't do this, Captain. I'm your son. Notify my officers. Report to the church. What are you doing? Court martial with it. Lieutenant Kulbuck. Commence in one hour. Captain, has the court martial clo- reached a verdict? Yes, sir, we have. The accused will rise. Tribunal finds the accused. Lieutenant Kulbuck. Lieutenant Kulbuck guilty. The charge with defection of duty. Desertion under fire. Cut us in the face of the enemy. According to dictates, the limited law is my duty. Commander of the division to inform you, Lieutenant Colbert, you've been found guilty of the charges lodged against you. Penny of your this crime is by firing squad. In light of your immediate pullback sentence will be carried out at sunrise. Thank you, gentlemen. Captain, let's select a firing squad of six men and report here at 6 o'clock. Take away the prisoner's shoelaces. Don't want him hanging himself. A disgrace to your uniform. I never, wanted, I never wanted to wear it. You wanted me to. General Hatch, you should think about this. Nothing to think about. I mean, respect, sir. Aren't you being his AC? Don't, I wouldn't have cowards my family, army. Oh, father, what brings you down here? You can't, don't mind me calling you father, do you? Well, let's see. You already put my shoelaces. Captain Milligan came and took away my belt. I told him he was wasting his time. I mean, I'm here because I was afraid to die. I don't think you saw the joke, Father. Martin isn't easy for me. Doesn't look doesn't look too terribly difficult condemning me to death. A panel found you guilty. I had no choice. No, I had no choice. All my life, everything I've done was to make you happy, to please you. I waste my whole life. Went to middle school, went to West Point, and now this. That's all. And all I ever wanted from you was a little pat on the back, that's all. Pat on the back. Is that all you ever wanted? It would have been the beginning. Can I have? Can I let you in and say a little secret, General? You're not much of a father. That makes you as even, as even, son. You ain't much of a lieutenant. Why? Because I'm afraid to die. Christ, 200 men leave the trenches and 30 of them. They come back, arms missing, legs missing. Anyone who goes out there and says you're not afraid or even fool or liar, you never let, but you let fear get the better of you. Everybody knows it. That's what, what, that's what I'm guilty of, isn't it, Father? Huh? As the whole world knows that son of the great General Colbert, afraid to die. Well, I am afraid to die, Martin. You're right. I, I haven't been much to father you. I was around most of the time. When I was young, I never saw much of my father. That's the way the military families. Well, if I wanted for you, or for you, or for you, was to see you follow the line, I was wrong. I was. I see you now. I was wrong to force you into the mould. And I am sorry. Well, it's a little late for you to be thinking about that. No, it's not too late. I'm not going to die. What? What do you think? I killed my own son, Martin, listen to me. It always, it always, 
There's always a blank in one of the rifles. The sparring squad leaves the question doubt as to who fired the fatal shots. This time I loaded them with all the blanks. When the quadrant fires, I want you to pretend to be re- you're dead. The vision would be moving out almost immediately. I've already issued orders. Now listen to me. I want to make up a pack for you. You enter the good card, some money, rations. I'll put it all in the ditch where you'll fail, fall. As soon as the company moves out, you take off. Understand? You really do that for me, sure. But there's one thing I want you to do anything. Face the fire squad like a man. I want you to show them you have courage. Show them you're not afraid. Can you do that for me, can't you, son? Yes, sir. Pot arms, present arms. Looks like a nice day to die, father. Firing squad, two steps forward, march, left face. Forward, march, squad, halt, right face. The fa- name of the American people, American Infantry Force, the 101st Infantry Regiment. If they found you guilty, careless, in the face of the enemy, you will be executed by rifle, immediately by accordance of judgment, military court, martial. You want a cigarette? No, thank you. Do you but I would like a drink. May, may I? Very well. By fault, Lieutenant, no. Thank you, Captain. Do you have anything to say before the sentence is carried out? Yes, I do. Very well. Carry on. Tried by not the man my father is. I'm sorry and apologise. I fear of dying, got in the way of my responsibility to my men and my object, ob- obligation to my commanding officers. I know now what Shakespeare meant. Cowards die many times before their deaths. The valiant never taste the death. But once, I am ready. Ready, aim, fire. If you permit me, General, I would, he died like a man, yes. Right, Lieutenant, we've got to move this company out now. On a double time, we have a hill to take. I guess money really learns his lesson. No guts, no glory. Well, I've got to go, kiddies. It's time for my shots. Fire, yes. Oh, yes. Boy, I've got a bang out of that. <laughs>